Top single by Foley on the bat bounce over Harrelson's head, the second Montreal hit. The 1 1 to Baylor. Strike hit the outside corner, a ball and two strikes. Yeah. The inning's over. The Expo sent nine men to the plate. They get four runs on two hits. No errors, two left. And at the end of a half inning of play, Montreal 4, New York coming to bat. And let's get back to the game. Who draws the base on balls for the 120th time this year. Breaking pitch missed the outside corner. Ball one. The stretch and the 2-0 pitch. And Lytle hits a high fly ball to center field. Lynch standing on the bag at third. Hahn makes the catch. Lynch takes off. The throw will be to third as Lynch scores. And the Expos lead 5 to nothing on the sacrifice fly by Jim Lytle. 84 RBIs for the year now. Slider and a strike call. One more RBI, and Bob will have a new career high. Tom Seaver delivers. Bailey swings and misses a breaking pitch. Strike two. Well, Seaver getting ahead on two breaking balls. Didn't want to pull around with a fastball to Bailey. Here's the 0-2, and a curve for strike three. got in there and Bailey Scott looking second strikeout for Seaver the Expos get a run on one hit one error uh, two errors rather one on Mian one on Staub and they left a couple on base at the end of two or at the end of one and a half it's the Expos five and the Mets nothing but the only way he can get another win is if they used him in relief on Sunday but uh, it looks that it looks like tonight's game has caused Tom Seaver, unless something like that happens, his bid for a 20-game season. We have a pinch hitter for Tom Seaver. This is Luke Barnes. Luke Barnes, right-handed batter. Here comes Miller around third. He'll come in to score, and the Mets are on the scoreboard. A pinch hit single by Luke Barnes. it up the 1-0 pitch and it's fouled back to the upper 